Hey guys, how are you? This is Gustavo again. Um, I'm going to show you what I did for my chess box recently. I just found out about this little microprocessor board called the Trinket. Um, you can get it at um, Amazon, but I recommend buying it directly from the uh, source, which is Adafruit. They sell a lot of electronic stuff for hobbyists and, and alike. And um, what I was interested, um, or, or the reason I was interested on this one, is because it has five um, IOs or inputs and outputs, and you can do lots of stuff with it. It does not have um, like a full-blown Arduino features, but it has most of them. It's based on the AT Tiny 85 processor, which is this uh, little chip right there. As you can see, it's, it's really, really small. This is a micro USB connector. So you can use that for uh, uploading the, the program. So uh, I did basically add uh, three LEDs as the, uh, um, for, for the sequence of the chess box. And I added an additional uh, push button to select a sequence because I wanted to have the option to have like the uh, Revenge of the Sith sequence, ESB, ESB2, because there's two sequence uh, or two different sequences on the uh, movie and the Return of the Jedi one. And you can add as many custom uh, sequences as you want. So I'm going to show you uh, what I did on mine. Uh, basically, it first boots up. Um, I added a sequence for booting up just for show. I mean, it doesn't have to have it, but I think it looks cool. And then it'll jump into the first sequence, which is uh, Revenge of the Sith. If I don't, if I don't do anything, it'll keep running there um, forever. Now, if if I press the uh, push button, which I'm, I'll be showing here right now, hanging, but obviously it's going to be inside the box. If I push it, I'll, I'll jump to the next sequence, which is ESB1, and so on and so forth. Uh, the last sequence, I like it very much. I mean, I, I kind of did something with one, uh, two outputs of the uh, trinket, which have uh, PWM, uh, which is basically pulse width modulation. So you can uh, add like a fade effect or pulsing on, on the LEDs, but it's only on two. Uh, but I, I think it looks cool. So let me show you real quick. First off, it's going to boot up. And, and that's kind of like, like the breathing fade effect. Like It's going to do it four times. And then I'll start the first sequence. So that's uh, Revenge of the Sith. It's eight steps, and it cycles over and over and over. It started over again. So if I press this button, it'll finish up what the last stated was, because it takes about a second for each pulse. Uh, but then it'll jump into the next sequence. So let me do that. There you go. Now it's ESB1 which is seven steps. So you can say it's different than the first one. I'm going to jump to ESB2. You can tell when it starts because it, it jumps into the three LEDs all on. That's the beginning of all the sequences. It's ESB2. I'm going to switch to R ROTJ. And that one, you'll tell is ROTJ because it has faster uh, uh, switching, like, like you just saw. It's different. It does it like fast on several occasions. It's a 22-step sequence. And this is my custom-made uh, breeding. <laughs> I call it the breeding sequence because it looks like it's breeding. And I'll stay there. If I press it again, it'll start over with the uh, um, ROTS. 
There you go. So, anyways, um, I'll uh, upload a tutorial or something if you guys want to do it yourself, um, or if somebody needs some help uh, building your own, I can I can certainly help them out. Um, these are they're cheap. Um, I guess uh, if you buy them on bulk, there's a package of six and it'll cost you like 40 bucks. So each of them are eight bucks plus shipping and handling. And then you'll add the uh, all the resistors and LEDs you need. Um, I don't know, it's, it's, it's dirt cheap. And it's very easy to program if you know um, C code um, for microcontrollers like Arduinos. So there it is.